What's up everybody and welcome back to Lesson on Coding. My name is Ryan Lesson. So in today's video we're going to talk about a pesky angular error that I used to not understand when I was a junior level developer. It was something that really ran me astray and was hard to solve. So the error I'm talking about is expression change after it's been checked. Now let's go into lifecycle methods to really see what this error is and how we can solve this. So expression change after it's checked means that while angular runs change detection change detection itself is changing the values of that component. So this is something you definitely do not want to happen because this can lead to very unstable components. Think about this, you change your state of your component and then the change detection that's trying to update that changes it again. Now all your values are going to be misconstrued and can lead to a lot of errors and no, something nobody wants to see. So let's talk about where this happens. Again, this could happen after anywhere in the lifecycle methods, basically when change detection is run, that's everything in yellow down here after ng do check, which kicks off the change detection. So basically we need to let Angular know that if change detection itself is causing values to change, Angular needs to be signaled that, hey, we either need to have this available in the context so it knows to run another change detection cycle, or basically, manually run the change detection cycle for it. So let's get into two common examples of where I've seen this happen and we'll go over how to solve them. So in our first example, we have a very common pattern of when expression change after it's been checked has been thrown. We have a view child that's gonna be looking at a directive. So let's take a look at the code and I'm gonna kind of bounce back and forth to give everyone a better idea of what's going on here. So as you can see, we have a component that basically in the template we're using the pain directive. And this pain directive is nothing more than a directive that's taking the input of the ID. So we're taking a look at what's being shown and then we're, we're basically taking this dot selected pain and setting it to the V.ID of that. So again, this ID could be either Pikachu or Giratina, and then we will be showing an image of either Pikachu or Giratina, depending on which pain is showing. But again, while we're setting this, we're using the set operator for whenever a new view child appears, we're going to be able to toggle. Every, we're going to be able to toggle through it using this toggle switch right here. So when a new pane appears, this this new set will be called, and then we'll be able to update everything on the page. But we are doing this during change detection. This is why we're getting this expression change after it's been checked error. Now let's go back to the main page and see exactly where this is happening. We see the expression change after it's been checked, and it gives us this great hint right here. It's happening on line 11. So as we can see, selected pane, and the error was false to true. So we see selected pane equals, equals triple equals Pikachu. So when we take a look back at our code, we can see that it starts off as an empty string, which is a false value, then it changes to Pikachu because Pikachu then appears on the page, and then we are able to Pikachu then appears on the page because then the set function gets called and then we are able to see this component, and, but it's throwing the error. So what we need to do is we need to come here and we actually need to wrap this in a set time timeout. So if you use node before, this is kind of, or this is very similar to running things on the next tick. So this is letting Angular know with this set timeout, this is wrapping this piece of this line of code right here in the Angular context. So once this set timeout happens, it's gonna happen after the change det detection cycle has run on the next tick. So once change detection is run, this set timeout function is gonna run after, and since it's in the Angular context, it'll be able to run a new change detection cycle and be able to update everything appropriately. So let's go back to the code to see everything working. So as you can see, now we have gotten rid of that pesky change, ch expression change after it's been checked error and we could toggle these variable gifts. Moving on. All right, moving on to the next example. Here's another very common expression change after it's been checked error, and this happens with a parent and a child component when the child component during its initialization changes the parent component. Now let's take a look at the code to see what's happening. First, let's look at the error and see the previous value was undefined, and then it updates to a string. Let's come here and see what's going on. We have our parent component, child component and we could take a look at the HTML to see what's going on. The pair component is here and it's basically just having the child component within its template and it's outputting 
its output to this output function on the parent. All right, what is going on here? So the parent component gets initialized and then the child component gets initialized and it's emitting this value up and this is causing the expression change after it's been checked error because it's changing the parent component during its change detection cycle. Now, what you might be wondering is if the parent component is initialized first and then the child component is initialized, why doesn't the parent know that the child component has emitted this value up to the parent and be able to run change detection? Well, that's a very good question and it goes with how change detection actually works. Change detection runs recursively. So while the parent component is running through all its lifecycle hooks and it's gonna search in the template for any components or directives to run, it will see this child component and then recursively run it. So while in the change detection of the parent, after all these checks to see in the template, it's gonna then run the child components initialization. And in that initialization on the ng on init, we are then updating the parent's value and that's not in the context. So Angular does not know to run change detection again because hey, the value has changed. So I'm gonna go over two ways how to solve this. First way to solve this is to have the set timeout again. Set timeout is great for any expression change that's been checked. And basically what we're gonna do here is kick this off to the next tick. So on that next tick, it'll be in the Angular context and then the parent component will know to run change detection again. So now let's go back and talk about one other way to solve this. So one other way to solve this is to come in here and then get the change detector ref. And then we could go into ng after content. So after all the content has been checked, we could do this dot change detector, then do detect changes. We're just gonna manually detect the changes on this component and then run change detection. But there's a little caveat, we're still getting this error. And that's because even though the child component is emitting a new value, there's nothing on the child component that's actually changed. And it's only checking the child component and downwards. So what we're gonna need to do is take this, um, this change detector wrap and then move it up to the parent component. So let me just copy this. We'll X this out and then we'll put it after the ng content checked because this is when after the change detection has run. Private CD change detection, change detector ref. Okay, there we go. Now let's come back here and as you can see, we are manually running the change detection and we are able to eradicate that ch expression change after it's been checked error. And that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I made understanding the different errors of Angular easier to understand. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. That's all, take care.